Hey everyone, my name is Aga Tompkins. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to test out the new... Is this gonna be in the bloopers or do I just keep this in the beginning of the video? Probably just gonna keep it in the beginning of the video. <laughs> I'm gonna try out the new Gwen Stefani Give Shadows and do a little look for you all. So if you wanna see that, stay tuned and check it out. So who is here with me, of course, because this is what she does. I am going to do a look with the... Uh, my nails are too long. I legit can't even open this. So not this one, but that one's amazing. We'll use it some other time. Hula got a bath today, so she is extra clean. And yeah, and she loves being in the videos, apparently. So I'm going to use this one, even though I can't open it. Come on. Okay, I got it. So let's use that puppy. Not you. Um, I currently have dinner in the oven, so I'm trying to get this done in the next like 15 minutes. So I don't know if we can film this in 15 minutes, but I think we're about to find out. So um, let's see what kind of look I can get done in that short amount of time. I'm sure I could do something. So I am gonna use the Your Ghost as a base over here. And I already have foundation on and stuff like that. I've been kind of living my life all day today. I did use the Give All Time Primer in my foundation when I did my foundation. So I do have that on my skin right now. I do like two drops into my foundation and then just put it all over. Let's get started with that Ghost as a... And I actually have the Give Brows. I did, I don't know where it flew because all my makeup up, flew away oh here so I used the hella on point for my brows and kind of drew in darker lines because mine is a little bit lighter to darken it up with like a black liner and all I have on is Hila, stop poking me you want to be in the video so much you want to be in the video so much <laughs> this is really hard to do with you here I don't think you poking my head is helping because I'm going to poke my eye out, Hula. Do you know? Will you let my hand stay in one place or the other? If you could, you'd be a lap dog. Is that what you're saying? She would be a lap dog, but she's medium size. She's kind of small though. She's like, I would say she's like 35 pounds. I think she looks a lot bigger than she really is in person. In person, she's kind of petite and tiny, but I think a lot of people think she's like a, a bigger dog, but she's really not. She's a mutt. You're a mutt. I like that. I like that about her. She's random. They say she's a Border Collie mixed with a Feist. I don't know if you all know what that is. It's kind of like a version of a Rat Terrier dog. Kind of like a Mutt version of a couple different versions of a dog. I don't know much about it. All I know is she's pretty cute and we'll keep her. Even though she's poking me so much. She wants to be in the videos. You want some eyeshadow? It's vegan so I think you'll be okay. Wow. Oh, did you sneeze at me? What the heck? Alrighty, and now I'm going to go ahead and take the Never Know, which is this one right here. And I'm going to do, I hope she doesn't mess me up on this. Man, that already looks so good. <laughs> wow. Pretty easy to suffice. And here, I don't know if you all can see, but we'll try to figure out. I'm getting my lighting like figured out still. It's been a while since I filmed, so who knows? Who knows? I don't know if you all are on Instagram, but if you are, you can check me out on there too. Um, I have a TikTok, but it is not beauty related. So if you like jokes or funny business, it's not that serious. I just have a good time on there and it, yeah. You know, I guess it's like a place where I go to where I don't give a crap, you know? All right, so I am blending that out. These blend really well. I feel like it's nice. They're nice. They're nice ladies. I already wore these one day in between, but they pack on really good. So I really like them. They are workable and that's always good. Cause I always feel like it's better if you can pack it on instead of going all the way. And then it's better to layer, I feel like. So that's why I like them. Which makes it like easier to use than some of the ones where you can't really layer. You just like, whoa, 
it's there. Good luck, everybody. That's really nice. Oh, I just love, I know this is gonna be my go-to in love color. It is like my jam. Hopefully you all can see pretty good. I'm pretty wild today doing this uh, in between dinner life. So I'm actually gonna go in with the uh, Secrets, the black one. It has a little shimmer, but I am going to, this is really hard to do with you, Hula. You just wanna stare at me while I do my makeup? She just wants to stare at me while I do my makeup. What's funny is my youngest daughter, she watches me do my makeup all the time. I feel like she, it's satisfying to her. We always laugh that it's like her watching like YouTube. It makes sense that people enjoy watching it online. She'll sit there in person and just watch me do my thing. And uh, it's really cute. I feel like, I don't know. I just love her. She's so sweet. The other weekend, she she told me that she wrote a letter about me and I, first of all, immediately started sobbing. And then she's like, would you like to read it? And I was like, yes. And it was the sweetest letter ever. And it was about somebody that, I think about somebody that inspires her or something of that nature. And she just like wrote a whole thing on me. And I don't know one of the sweetest things that's ever happened to me and coming from my daughter it you know and she's my stepdaughter technically because she's danny's daughter but she's my daughter because she was like five when i started dating danny so she was a little tiny little thing and um yeah it's it means the world to me and i just love her and i'm so lucky i'm glad we found each other we actually also have a tiktok we don't post a lot but it's just us like goofing off and dancing and doing like funny business as well do not take me seriously on tiktok so i'm liking that cool cool i'm gonna go back in with the your ghosts and kind of try to outline this a little bit like give it a little 60s vibe i would say just pack it on there and cut it you could use like concealer to do it but i'm just gonna go in there it doesn't have to be perfect i just want a little Half Moon, um, 60s vibe business, and it's a little feathered out, which isn't a bad thing. Now I'm gonna take Never Know, and we're gonna put it underneath, like so. Man, if you need great neutral tones, this is the jam. I just have like smeared makeup on this side already. Can't take me anywhere. I don't really care. I don't, I'm not gonna lie to you all. <laughs> I'm not that concerned. I don't know what I'm doing with these lights though. Something's off, like it's dark out. So it's hard to do lighting when it's dark outside. Back to business. So I'm just gonna, I'm doing messy style. So don't judge me. Do not focus. Do not judge me. I'm gonna do a little concealer uh, since it's been a long day. Actually, it hasn't been, it doesn't feel like what the definition of it's been a long day feels like. It actually feels like a nice day. I took Hula to the groomer. I hung out with my kids. Uh, today is actually Pulaski day here and I'm Polish. I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But anyway, my kids are off school. So um, I hung out with them a little bit. Yes, I am literally plopping it on over it because I'm gonna smudge it out. I gotta see how I'm doing on time. You guys think I can film this in time? I mean, I cheated in all fairness. I already had a lot done, so we're really just doing shadows. It's not that hard. It's not rocket science. But it's not that easy either. For people that think uh, doing makeup looks is super easy, I feel like sometimes you can underestimate someone because it can be a lot of work. So I'm doing the um, secrets again. Just a little, I dabbed on my brush like so. And I am going to tap it off and do a little in the outer corner there. If you want more information on this entire line, I made another video that just kind of goes through everything and does swatches and 
all that jazz so if you um want that you can check it out it's the last video i did if you want to go look at all my videos you will find it so as you all can see i kind of did like a line out with the shadow which i think is always fun i don't know why i like it i like fun do you like fun all right now i'm gonna go in and use my line it up liner and i am going to draw a second line see how that's two and it's going underneath i'm not putting it on my waterline i'm going underneath cute i drew a little x there today over my heart no heart today all righty all righty then this blue i did a look for instagram and stuff like that with this line it up liner this one's called bath water and the black one is called spider webs duh i love this one i got so many compliments i'm actually gonna do this one in the front here like so and what's cool about these is they are smudgeable. You can smudge them, but they are long lasting. Like they didn't budge once they dried. I wore these suckers and they were phenomenal. So now I'm going to take a little small brush and just smudge it. Mmm, that's pretty good. I like that. Now I'm going to use a tiny little guy and I'm gonna use the bath water color and I'm gonna just kind of use it to paint it on this brush. And I'm gonna continue this line so it has almost like an ombre effect going out. So it's kind of dark in the middle here and it kind of like reconnects at the back. I don't know how well you all can see it. I can't even see it, I feel like, cause I'm so far from my mirror over here in front of me that who knows. Sometimes I edit and then I see it on camera better, like of what I was like curious about. I'll be like, hmm, wonder if it's good. And then later like, it wasn't. So I'm loving that. Now I'm gonna use this little brush and it is like a flat, tiny guy like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of in between these two lines, draw with your ghost. I'm just tapping it on and dragging it in between. See that? So even if you had some imperfections, this will help blend it. Blend it out a little bit. Okay, I just moved this mirror to here and it's so much better. I don't know what I've been doing. I can see so much better. What the heck, everybody? So I really like that. What else do I do? I'm feeling good about that. I feel like I'm a little shiny from the date, so I'm gonna just powder my nose a little bit. I'm digging that. I'm just gonna touch up my mascara because I definitely got white powder on it. Okay, so my overalls have been making like a squeaky noise all day from these things and it is driving me crazy. Also, my nails are so long, everybody. Like I made them super extra long. So it's, yeah, I'm, I'm a witch. I definitely have witchy vibes and fingers. See, so I was born to be a witch. I feel like that's like Pan's Labyrinth, ooh. All right, so that is the finished look. I like it, I think it's simple, but not. Obviously it's bold. Um, They blend really well and I really like these tones. They're very ashy, which I love. She does have like a warmer couple tones too, but I'm into the ashy tones. I do have brown eyes. Oh, I forgot to put on lipstick. Hello, we'll do it. So this is the Anaheim Shine. Oh my God, I realized my face is shiny this whole time. I have chapstick all over my face. Did you guys notice that? I don't know what's going on. Also, I already have chapstick on. And in my last video, I did it on super uh, dry lips. So in this video, you'll see if you have a little gloss on or something on top of it, what it will look like. 
It does have a little bit of shine, but it's not too shiny in my opinion. It's just right. So yeah, so that is the finished look. Uh, check out my last video to see all the details on each product. I hope you enjoyed this. I know everybody was so excited about this launch and it's finally out. So go to Sephora and get it. Thanks so much for watching and thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate you all. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think. Have you tried these yet? Are you going to get them? Let me know all the details, everybody. And I will see you next time. Bye.